Hello guys and girls, Itai here. We are in Chicago and uh, this is uh, basically I did entire sequence up to departure uh, procedures uh, based on, le loosely based on the, the airline I fly for uh, but not precisely. And now I want to simulate what I just want to show you what to do after we've landed. I don't want to show you how to fly this plane, I just want to show you what to do after we've landed and how to get into the gate so we're still in Chicago I just got the flaps to 5 to simulate that we just landed I got the auto brakes to off and uh, I did I did forget to tune the TCAS to TARA for departure so now we're in, t in TARA just to simulate that we just turned off the runway okay uh, so we've turned off the runway uh, basically uh, the after landing procedure we want to just turn the lights off uh, strobe lights, we want to remain with the nav, the red beacon, and the taxi lights for the taxi. Okay, um, and uh, we vacate the runway, we want to go back to transponder alt on mode. And we want to get the flaps as soon as we can to up. And the reason is, if it's not going to be up, it's going to pretty quickly um, switch from after landing mode to before takeoff mode. And then it's going to yell at, at me, hey Itai. You're planning to take off with flaps five. That's not a that's not a good flap position. So before it yells at us, we want to get the flaps to up. Um, and then we pretty much taxi to the gate. Two minutes after we've landed, we can we have the option to shut down one engine and taxi single engine taxi. This mechanism doesn't work well physically in a flight simulator, um, so we won't do that. Uh, we would typically switch this to the MFD to systems status page uh, because it helps us monitor the uh, brake temperatures while taxiing usually after landing they would be very hot we don't want to overheat them so it would be nice to know what they look like we are next to the terminal I'm literally just going to turn 180 degrees and get back to the same gate we left which is Echo 5 and uh, so we mentioned uh, going back to single engine taxi um, either way, when we get close to the gate, we really want to get the APU started. So the APU switch to on. We want to see that the amber lights here, and then turn it to on. And as soon as we're getting closer to the rampers here, uh, we want to get the taxi light off so we don't blind anyone. Okay, at this point we just pretty much need to taxi into our gate. No takeoff config, oh, that's just because... No takeoff. That's just because my, s my hardware thought for some reason I got to um, max thrust, and uh, which I didn't, but still, that's, that's the takeoff warning that you just saw. Anyway, uh, we are going back to the gate. I believe this is our gate. I hope. It would be nice if it is. So we turned off the taxi lights, the APU is coming off, it should be online in just a bit. Usually the first officer would uh, go into the electric synopt synoptic page. Right now we have the two engines on, in a second the uh, APU would be on as well. Here is our uh, marshaller. I'm going to ignore the multiple ground stuff here that really, in real life, we cannot taxi into a gate like that. But um, I will just get into the gate right now. And please excuse the entire uh, mechanics here. I'm not actually worried about how to taxi or fly this plane right now. I just want to show you what to do when we get into the gate. As we said, the lights are off. APU is online, which is good. More than two minutes have passed since, we, since we've landed. So we are good to uh, shut down the engine as soon as we are parked in our gate. Here we are. Parking brake set. And as soon as the parking brakes are set, more than two minutes have passed, APU is online, we can shut off the engine. So start, stop, to 
should stop on both sides okay so parking brake set uh, thrust levers idle start stop to stop then the overhead you have the passers signs to off red beacon off and electrical pumps 3A to off the rest should be in auto and uh, that's pretty much our parking procedure now we can run the parking checklist and from that mo from moment on uh, the flight attendants can uh, disarm the doors and get ready for the arrival cool that pretty much concludes it uh, we can always shut it down all the way down uh, here's a steer off prompt that I mentioned before I don't know why it wasn't on beforehand but it is now on at some point the GPU would be online so we can uh, disconnect it usually we'd keep one of the MFD synoptic, pa synoptic pages on electrical to remind us to uh, get the GPU on and APU on here we go it just got connected so GPU uh, would push it in and we can shut off the APU uh, so APU shutting down immediately when you shut down the APU you're losing the uh, bleed air from the from the APU but as it spools down we still have the generator um, the APU generator still providing electricity once the APU actually spools all the way down we're losing that too so um, the airplane will revert to the GPU as soon as the APU as long as the APU is still on that takes priority okay so we're shutting this thing down and we're deplaning and that's pretty much that pretty much concludes my take on just a quick take on how to do normal procedures in the Airbrow 175 just so you get an idea on how to operate this plane because it is a little bit different than the typical Boeing or Airbus um, as it should be it's a different airplane anyway any comments suggestions anything to add uh, please let me know otherwise enjoy blue skies and uh, safe flying